Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you how to route your second generation Motorola Moto G and get a custom recovery on it. So the first thing we need to do here is back up everything on the phone because uh, we would have to unlock the bootloader to get this done and if you unlock your bootloader you will lose all your apps and data. So first go ahead back everything up and once you've done that let's go on and unlock the bootloader. So what you do next is head on over to the download section in the description of this video and click on link 1 there. That will take you to this page. Just scroll down, hit next. You'll be asked to sign in. You could either create a Motorola ID or sign in using your Google account. So I just signed in and once you've signed in, over here just download, the, download and install the latest Motorola USB drivers. Forget the first one, just download this. Once you've installed it, let's move on to the Moto G. So now go ahead and turn it off. So guys, once your Moto G is off, go ahead, hold down volume and power at the same time. Just for a few seconds and let it go. So now you'd be in the fast boot mode. So right now, connect your phone to your PC with a micro USB cable. And uh, once you've done this, you can just let the Moto G remain and let's jump to the PC. Next up, head on over to the download section in the description again, hit link to and from there you would get this file Android SDK slim.zip. So go ahead, download it, right click it, extract it. So just open this. Once you're in this folder under platform tools, hold shift, right click and hit open command window here all right so right now type in fastboot devices so you would get a reply over here if you don't get a reply with a bunch of numbers and fastboot it means you haven't set up your drivers correctly so go ahead install your latest Motorola USB drivers again or uninstall the drivers reboot your PC reinstall it and it would work so next up type in fastboot OEM space get underscore unlock underscore data and hit enter so now we get a bunch of numbers over here so this you've, you've got the prompt on this page as well so just scroll down and uh, go back so now right click mark and copy them select them all hit enter to copy now open up notepad and paste them all. So just make sure that it's all in a single line. So now select this whole thing, copy it and go ahead, paste it over here and hit can my device be unlocked. So if your device is unlockable, a request unlock key button would appear over here. If it doesn't, then you have a carrier lock device. Maybe a carrier doesn't let you unlock your device or whatever. So uh, there is no way around that. You can't unlock your bootloader. That is it. But if it's available, then hit I agree, hit request unlock key and hit OK. You would get a prompt saying if you don't have a developer version of the device, it, this will uh, void your warranty. Just go ahead, hit OK anyway, because unlocking the bootloader will void your warranty. So now head on over to your email account. You'd find a mail from do not reply at motorola.com and you would have it would have your unlock key. So this might be under spam. It comes under promotions for me. Just make sure you check your uh, inbox correctly if you're using Gmail. Anyway, copy that. So right now, go back to the command prompt and over here type in fastboot OEM unlock and right click and paste the key that we just copied from the email now hit enter so it says unlock completed way to reboot so now your moto g will be rebooting here you can say and um, you can see the message unlocked it would reboot so just wait for it to complete so guys while the moto g is rebooting head on over to link 2 from the download section in the description that will take you to this page just uh select update super su and save it to wherever it is that you've uh, you're saving stuff to root the Moto G. So I've got it under rooting and Moto G Gen 2. So just save it there. 
and uh, head on over to link for that would get you TWRP so download that as well again save it so the Moto G is now rebooting it's just booted back up and like I said all the apps and data would be erased so I'm not just gonna set it up right now I'm just gonna let it remain the way it is just make sure you transfer the update super su.zip file just transfer it to your Moto G again so I'm waiting for my Moto G to be detected so once the Moto G is detected just transfer that file over enough back to the phone and let's turn it back off again so now just disconnect the cable for a second let it turn off and once it's off again down volume and power just hold it a few seconds let it go okay that didn't work again hold it for a few seconds let it go and we're back in the bootloader mode and now it says unlock just connect it again and back we go to the folder where we've saved everything so here the dwrp file has been downloaded here so now just copy that .img file the one that you downloaded from link for head on head on over to android sdk windows again platform tools and paste it here so now if your command prompt is already open you can go back to it or again hold shift right click open command window here and now type in fastboot flash recovery space again uh, just type in dw and hit tab that will fill in the image file name here now hit enter so once this is done you can exit we are done with the pc part of the tutorial so back to the phone here so guys right now hit the down volume key once and at recovery hit up volume again to select it so you'd see this message displayed and you would boot into uh, twrp recovery so here we are over here select install and scroll down select update super su and uh, swipe to confirm flash it says successful select reboot system now just give the moto g a few seconds to boot back up so there we go guys we are up so let me quickly run through setup and i'll be back so i just signed into my uh, google account and just to confirm that we have root access i'm heading on over to the play store and i'm going to search for root checker and i'm going to install that open it agree okay verify root access grant and there you go we now have root access so i guess that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial on how to unlock your bootloader flash a custom recovery and get root access onto your second generation motorola moto g hope you guys like this video hope you found it useful if you did please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this do stay subscribed in the meantime if you do run into any issues if you have any queries i will leave a direct link to the original thread on xda developer forums you can post there or you can leave a comment in this video i'll try to get back to you and uh, i guess that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching till next time this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day Bye bye now